Hi everyone. This week, our first full week of music librarianship, we'll be talking about different roles and responsibilities that are commonly held by music librarians in different kinds of institutions. Academic positions are the most common, uh, but there's a lot of variety among the positions in academic library systems. In some cases, like at UWM, the music collection and the specialist librarian, me, are integrated into the main library. In these cases, the librarian may have duties that go beyond music and performing arts materials. Um, I am on the teaching and learning team, so I often have educational or instructional responsibilities that go beyond music. Uh, other times, librarians will be assigned to be the liaison to a number of academic departments beyond just music. Uh, and the music li liaison may just be one of many liaison librarians who coordinate with academic programs while also having other library duties. In some library systems, the music library is a separate branch with one or more music librarians working in a location outside the main library. So frequently this is in or near a music department so that the music library can be located in close proximity to this, where the students and faculty are every day. In either case, the academic music librarian's job is primarily about serving faculty, students, and researchers. So an understanding of the basics of the academic study of music is usually important. And these jobs frequently require at least a master's degree in music in addition to a library degree. It can also be helpful to read multiple languages, at least at a basic level, and to be comfortable working with both faculty and students directly. Ensemble or performance librarian positions are becoming less common and they're very specialized. They typically work for an ensemble like a major orchestra or a festival or an educational institution. And they are unlikely to have any duties that are really unrelated to music. Um, because they're so specialized, they typically require a high degree of practical musicianship. Many positions even require an audition as well as an interview. Uh, performance librarians manage the scores and parts for performers, sometimes preparing the parts themselves. So they need to be able to work closely with the music and have a high level of musicianship. Um, and they'll also likely be working narrowly with music appropriate to their specific institution or ensemble type. They're often also asked to arrange rental agreements and to deal with licensing and copyright issues. Performance librarians primarily serve musicians and staff rather than the public, and they're often one-person shops, so they need to be comfortable both working with musicians and with working alone. Public libraries usually only have a music specialist in the largest public libraries. Um, but most will have some music holdings. So a lot of public librarians will have to deal with music collections in addition to other types of collections. Public librarians typically deal with very diverse music collections, but they tend to work more with recordings and books than with scores. And unlike academic and ensemble librarians, most public librarians primarily serve community users who engage with music for recreation, either as listeners or as performers. And they're not typically expected to have the same high levels of technical or academic knowledge about music that you might expect in an ensemble or academic librarian. Instead, knowledge of local music scenes or even children's music is more useful. Like any public librarian, music specialists in public libraries need to be comfortable interacting with the wide public, including a range of ages and backgrounds.
While they're less commonly part of the conversation about music libraries, there are other kinds of special libraries that may employ music specialist librarians. Um, radio and television stations and other corporations and companies may need someone to manage their collections and copyright issues. Tech corporations, especially the, those that deal heavily with musical content, need employees with both musical and digital skill sets. And cultural heritage institutions like museums and special collections may also hire music librarians if it's appropriate to their collections. These positions may require more academic knowledge of music or even advanced experience in research, like a PhD in the specific area of study that the institution supports. In fact, that subject knowledge in the special area of the institution may be valued more than the library degree. These jobs may also require some knowledge of digitization or preservation techniques that are specific to music. One thing I want to do this week is to make sure that you're all thinking about which of these types of positions you might be most interested in and what you need to do to gain the skills that would make you a good candidate for these jobs. So as you go through the rest of the materials for the week and make your discussion board posts, uh, think about not only what you want to do in this class and where you might want to specialize with your assignments, uh, but also making a list of the kinds of things you might want to do in the future to best prepare yourself for the kind of position you want.